given. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find a volume using cylindrical coordinate system. So we are for, uh, familiar with the formula of volume. Okay, let me write here. Volume is equal to, it has very simple formula, triple integration over S, dv. dv means dx dy dz or dz dy dx, right? So the most important thing is region S, that solid region S in R3. So let us discuss what is the region given here. So let me write here, S is bounded by, okay, what we have S is bounded by, Z is equal to X square plus Y square. Power of Z is 1, power of X and Y is 2. So that means 101% it is paraboloid. Yes, in example also they have mentioned it is a paraboloid. Let me write here. So it's a paraboloid. Okay. See uh, here, power of Z is 1. So the paraboloid is around Z axis and around positive Z axis since Z has plus sign. So the paraboloid will be like this getting, uh, let me draw a rough sketch of paraboloid. So we'll have a paraboloid like this. Yes. So our paraboloid will be like this. After that, the second curve is Z is equal to, Z is equal to square root of X square plus Y square. Or the same equation you can write as uh, Z square is equal to X square plus Y square. So this is equation of cone. Let me write. So this is a cone okay so around z axis again so we'll have cone like this let me show it here so we'll have cone like this so they have mentioned the region is bounded by that cone and paraboloid so that means region of uh, this given region s is this one which is bounded by this cone and bounded by this paraboloid okay so see we have to solve this problem using cylindrical coordinate system so for that we have to put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z so let me write that thing to convert to convert problem problem in cylindrical coordinate system i'm writing in short we put we put what shall we put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z okay we keep z as it is so therefore dx dy dz so we know that this is equal to what r dz dr d theta so r comes because of that jacobian okay so jacobian use jacobian has value r so that's why we write in this way so what we do after substitution we try to convert all equations in cylindrical coordinate system let us uh, try to do that thing so let us we will start with paraboloid we have we have the equation of paraboloid is z is equal to x square plus y square, right? What we do, we put z, x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. So what will happen? Let me write it here. r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. So if you take r square common, we will have cos square plus sin square, which is 1. So z is equal to r square. So this is equation of what? Paraboloid. Let me write it here. z is equal to r square let us talk about cone now okay now what is equation of cone z is equal to square root of right x square plus y square same thing we are going to do we are going to put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta so the value of x square plus y square will be r square so square square root will get cancelled z is equal to r so equation of cone is z is equal to r so we are interested to know the curve of intersection so you know that we have a paraboloid like this getting and we have a cone like this definitely they will cut each other so that means if you extend this diagram then we will have actually the paraboloid is like this getting so shape of paraboloid like this and cone will be like this it will go in this way getting so they are intersecting each other in one curve so that uh, equation of that curve we want to find see what we have to do simply we have to put one equation in second equation so we'll have the a curve of intersection make a screenshot of it then we will go further see to find curve of intersection what will we do we will put the equation of cone in equation of paraboloid let us see what will happen so therefore r is equal to r square let us take uh, all functions on one side r square minus r is equal to zero we can take r common r minus one is equal to zero so therefore either r is equal to zero or r is equal to one 
r is equal to 0 means origin distance from origin is 0 that means origin we have 0 0 0 getting and r is equal to 1 this is equation of circle getting with center or origin and radius r so actually we have a circle of that type okay so when the paraboloid and cone intersect we get a circle having radius 1 so equation of that circle is r is equal to 1 okay so yes this thing we have so let us go further so now we will find limits then let me write first we write limits of z then r and then theta so to find the limits of z we always consider the strip parallel to z axis let me show it here so our strip will be like this okay so yes strip will be like this so strip is bounded below by paraboloid whose equation is z is equal to r square and strip is bounded above by cone z is equal to r so z varies from r square to r after that see we have to find limits of r and theta as you can see here we are having a circle okay at the top where the curve uh, see paraboloid and cone intersect we are having a circle with center 0 0 radius r right so yes so we draw a strip like this equation of circle is r is equal to 1 so will you tell me the limits of r then obviously strip is bounded below by 0 and strip is bounded above by r is equal to 1 so these are limits of r so now we have to cover the entire region of integration okay so to cover a region strip has to move in this way and it has to rotate by 360 degrees so that's why limits of theta are from 0 to 2 pi so in this way we have got all limits so let us find a volume now okay uh, let me write it here then then volume v so inner integration with respect to z having limits r square to r right middle integration with respect to r having limit 0 to 1 and outer integration with respect to theta having limit 0 to 2 pi okay so dv dv means dx dy dz whose value is uh, r dz dr and d theta let us solve it further integration 0 to 2 pi integration 0 to 1 what will happen r is a constant when you integrate with respect to z so r will come outside getting i am writing it outside integration of dz is z r square to r dr d theta let me put upper limit lower limit 0 to 2 pi okay 0 to 1 r r minus r square dr d theta let us solve the bracket then we will integrate 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 when you solve the bracket r square minus r cube dr d theta what is integration of r square r cube by 3 integration of r cube is r s to 4 by 4 let me write it here so 0 to 2 pi r cube by 3 minus r s to 4 by 4 with limit 0 to 1 d theta okay we are going to put upper limit lower limit make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us solve it further okay so v is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi i am putting upper limit so we will have 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 if you put 0 we will have 0 d theta so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 if you cross multiply we will have 1 by 12 it's constant so we can take it outside so integration of d theta is theta only 0 to 2 pi let me remove this one it is not required okay yes so let us go further so we can put upper limit 2 pi if you put lower limit 0 we will have 0 2 2 will get cancelled and we will have pi by 6 right so i should mention cubic units since it's a volume getting Yes, so this is a required answer. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.